Thanks very much for your time and uh, interesting to come to your offices about six mm. months into your life, your mm. infant organisation. But Corruption Watch has made a name for itself and its brand is well established in, mm. in people's minds. Mm. What, have you what have been the main outputs and outcomes, would you say, over your last six months? Well, I, I, you know, I think establishing the brand has been the, 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 the major part of our, of our thrust. And, I, you know, I would like to think that we haven't done it only through spin. I mean, we've, uh, you know, I, I hope that we've, we've, we've succeeded in slightly elevating the, 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 the level of the conversation around uh, corruption and, 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 I, and I would hope, you know, providing people with the notion that there is some way of confronting it. So the most important thing that we've tried to do and the most important way in which we've tried to build the brand is to try and say to people that there that if you talk about corruption and you talk about it loudly enough and you report to us actual incidents of corruption that there's value in that conversation alone uh, obviously the next question that everybody poses to us and rightly so is so what do you do with all that information but 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 uh, you know I, I think the critical thing is that in a democracy talking is not a sort of pejorative talk shop type thing. It's about the way in which people get things to change. Um, it's the it's the sort of instrument of a democracy. A key contact point or touch point of corruption is the, the interaction between business and government, yeah. the public sector and the private sector. Yeah. And that's, you are wanting to focus or give that issue a priority. How are you going about engaging with business? You, you've got your roots in labour, but mm. you, you see it as an important constituency. Well, we see business as an important constituency to be spoken to and to, to engage with. We also, you know, want to emphasise, and I suppose our roots in labour, you know, make it even more than usually necessary for us to emphasise that it generally takes two to establish a corrupt relationship and I mean where tender stuff is concerned which I think you know in value terms is probably the the, the sort of largest element of corruption uh, you know per definition it's an engagement between a, a, a private sector entity and a public sector entity although on occasion I think a private sector entity that was set up for the very specific purpose of being of facilitating a corrupt relationship so we want both to be involved in a relationship with business that has us raising the level of the debate about what business could do to counter corruption in its own ranks, but we also want them to uh, work with us on encouraging um, people to speak about corruption and to report corruption, and we just think that their, their communications channels could be incredibly useful in this regard. In the context of an economy that's located in a world that is very uncertain, there's been a shift in focus, a, a concerted effort to uh, prioritise infrastructure development. Mm. These involve big ticket projects, large capital budgets, mm. and there's a, also a desire to crowd in as much as possible yeah. local content into that. Yeah. Now, that's holy and wholesome, and we want that sort of thing for our economy. How, in your view, do you balance that that need or that uh, to use that as a counter cyclical measure with the desire to keep corruption it keep it corruption free what i know about the arms deal and what i know about it is what you know all of us have read about it is that is that it wasn't so much local content it was it was really local intermediation between foreign suppliers and 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 the the the, the end customer the, the defense force in this instance was a particularly sort of corrupted relationship because you know effectively all that the you know there's no local content in that there's just a a local rent that is derived from facilitating connectedness to the between the between the seller and the buyer um, uh, you know you, you, you may be willing to pay a price for local content because it produces jobs and skills and introduces technology and so you know that may be a price worth paying as long as you're transparent about what it is that you're 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 doing it's when uh, you know local 
people or companies set themselves up simply to to sort of grease the, the, the wheels, so to speak, that I think you pay a price for that. And on the, on the infrastructure spend thing, I mean, this is going to be a difficult thing to do, and I, I think about it every day. We, we would really like to set up a page on our website on which every, say, in the energy spend program, uh, it, since we, even before we opened our doors, people have come to us and said that there is already deep preparation going on for replicating the kind of practices and structures in the energy spend program as they were in the arms deal. I mean, the arms deal, the scale of the arms deal is going to be like a rounding error in the, in the energy spend program. So one way that we've thought about doing it, and there's a very interesting Russian uh, um, uh, role model here, is to set up a page on our website on which every tender is 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 posted and and we invite comment in this instance it probably wouldn't be for the from the public i mean they would not be the people who would be commenting on the general public but it would be from mostly i guess from losing losing bidders or people who were engaging uh, um, substantively with the bidding process and were seeing um, irregularities as they euphemistically mm -hmm. ca call them uh, and reporting on them so that we get into a situation with that with that energy spend program that sees corruption or potential for corruption before the fact rather than as in the arms deal uh, you know after the fact where you then have to go into 10 15 years of, of, of prosecution and litigation and commissions of inquiry and newspaper investigations